Welcome to Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. After signing as a free agent in the summer of 2010, Chris Bosch moved to Miami, and after one season, his life changed dramatically. Bosch helped lead the Heat to the NBA Finals, and in the summer of 2011, he got stronger, got married, and got focused on the season's expectations. I sat down with Chris, and we kicked off the conversation with the 2011 All Star Weekend. It was evident that South Florida was taking over Hollywood. Chris, you had been an All Star before, but this experience had to be a little different because you all took over Los Angeles. Well, I mean, for the first time, people cared and people actually knew I was an All Star. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the main. <laughs> Yeah, I had to refresh people's memory okay. at first. You know, being in Toronto was a little different. It's always great being an all-star, but when people know it, it's a lot different. A lot more interview requests, cooler events, and <laughs> got to meet uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I remember that night. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. pretty cool. There's this beautiful image of you, Dwayne, and LeBron, and we've slowed it down with you all walking down, star-studded, firing the fingers <laughs> out, the whole thing. Take me back to that moment. I said, okay. It's always a fashion show, you know what I mean? Got to make sure I'm fresh and clean. Like, I'm in, like, do these shoes work or these shoes work? And, and that's all I could think about was trying to outdress these guys because it's a competition every day. So March comes around. It was not the easiest time of the year for the team or for yourself. And you made a very poignant decision and made it uh, public to everyone that uh, you wanted the ball. You got mm -hmm. the ball. The team found success when that happened. Mm -hmm. Talk about your retrospective view of that time, your thoughts, and then how it moved forward. Well, I mean, I was just frustrated with the way things were going. I felt that I could give a lot more to the team. And I kind of had to, to really put pressure on myself to produce and, and play a little bit harder. Now spins right up and under. What a play and a flush with a big left hand. Chris Bosh says, take that. I felt I had a lot in the tank that I could give the team. And, um, you know, I found a little bit of success individually, and we won a couple of games. Bosch again, head and shoulders fake, and an emphatic finish. And it was a tough month. To me, it wasn't that big of a deal. I was just like, hey, we just got to win the next one. You know, and that's the attitudes you have to have in this game because it's a long season, and with that five-game losing streak, we still got the number two seed in the East. I truly feel, and maybe you do as well, that the Lakers' victory at home was something else. It <laughs> was kind of a culmination of your aggressiveness and the things that you wanted to do more assertively on the floor, uh, as well as the team being able to do that. You know, I, I look back on that Lakers game with a five-game skid, with a big game at home against a great team. It was time to put up or shut up. You know, and we felt that it was one of those games where we had to win. Bosch to it, Jim, inside Chris Bosch. Just to get over that hump a little bit, I think that gave us a lot of confidence going into the last little run of the season. And it showed us when we put our mind to it and we stick together, great things can happen. There was a great stat that we kept tracking on television of when you and LeBron and Dwayne scored 75 together or more, obviously great success. Against Houston, though, you took it in a whole nother direction. What do you remember about how you guys were flowing within the offense of the game, but, you know, producing over 30 points each? I didn't even realize it till the end of the game. Uh, I think I got fouled, and I looked I'm like, man, we can only have 30 points. It's pretty cool. Nice spin by Twain. Tipped in by Bosch. We were just playing the game. The game just came to us. And I think some days those things are going to happen, but, you know, we can't force the issue. We just have to play together. As a team, what was happening for the Miami Heat as you all were clearly playing better together, gelling, and having probably the best chemistry of the season? I think everybody was just getting it. Everything just started clicking a little more. We got comfortable with the rotation. We got comfortable in our defensive coverage. We got comfortable in the offense. Nice pass for the cutting, Bosch. That's teamwork. We were starting to learn more about each other and just really in the moment and having to take that moment and seize it.